Hey guys, it's Holly and welcome to Ark Survival Evolved. Now, I've been streaming this game for about the last year and a half. It is definitely right up there in amongst my favorites. And I realized the other day, I have never played this game without any mods. So what I thought could be a fun playthrough is we're going to start from the very beginning. Now I am going to treat this like a beginner's series because I know that there are a lot of players that are new to the game and are still learning. So if I tell you something you already know, like just skip over that bit. But I thought it could be a lot of fun. So uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead. Let's jump in and we are in our character creation menu. Now you can load a preset and things like that, but we are starting from scratch. So we are going to go with a female. Now I generally try to make the characters look kinda like me, I guess. I don't know, I try. And uh, yes, uh, my hair is purple right now. Um, mistakes were made. These things happen when you're in quarantine and everything is closed. So, you know, um, it's just the way things are right now. But um, I literally just go along and make her small. <laughs> like, I just make her small all over because I myself am actually only about five foot. Um, maybe five foot one if I stretch. But, uh, all right, come on, let's go like this. Nearly there. Just gonna try and make her proportionately small all over. Dun, 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 dun. I'm not actually even looking at what it says that I'm making smaller. I'm just sort of looking at the things on the side here. All right, so we are on the island map. Um, down the bottom right here, can you guys, you should be able to see that. We gotta put our name down in here. And we are going to spawn, I think we are going to spawn in South Zone Easy 1. Because, I mean, it says it's the easiest zone, so let's get in. Let's get this show on the road. Man, we spawn in and it's nighttime straight away. Jeez, it is dark. It is super, super dark. Oh, okay. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Now, I am going to be a little bit cheaty here. I'm actually going to gamma up. Um, not all servers have this enabled, though. Um, the way that you do that is you actually just press tab. It'll bring up this little tab bar down the bottom. And then you can type in gamma and then a number. And it will gamma it up so you can see a little bit better. We might actually go a little bit brighter than that. All right, nicely, nicely done. So this is us. We are naked standing on a beach. So it is a survival crafting game. We are going to need to get some supplies. So in order to get wooden thatch, we literally just got to run around and punch trees. Oh, I got a level already. And then we're going to need some rocks. All right, I can see some right here on the ground. Give me these rocks. Um, harvesting is times five as well. If you're never, if you're unsure on your server settings and what level like the harvest rate is set to, you just go to the beach and pick up a rock. It's the easiest way to find out because like you can see I'm picking up five rocks from one. That's how I can tell that it's a times five server. All right, now we are gonna need some berries and things so we can get some food. And I'm also going to level up here and we're going to try and make a pickaxe and a hatchet. Probably some of the most important things that we need straight away. All right. So I for inventory. Now we do have one point. I'm actually going to put the point into health because, oh my goodness, in the early game, you get over encumbered super, super quickly. And I, I don't like it. So let's go one point into weight. All right, we can learn the hatchet. Oh, also up the top here, you'll see it says once that engram goes, are you going to go away? There we go. Up the top here, you see this little points. That's your engram points. How many points you were able to spend on learning how to craft things. Because even if you're a max level, you can't actually learn all of the items. You only get a set amount of engram points. So you got to kind of 
pick and choose the later on uh, what you actually need to learn. So, but we are going to definitely learn a campfire and some spears because they are super duper important to us. Um, now in your inventory, again, just press I for inventory. Over to your right, you have your crafting screen. Now we do have enough. We needed a stone thatch and wood to be able to make a pickaxe. So I'm gonna double click that and get that one making. And then we're gonna wanna hatch it, which we just need some flint. So we can go ahead and get some flint just from whacking some rocks. So let's go ahead and do that. Give me, give me all the flint, please. I'm just gonna collect it all until this rock breaks, I guess. Or I get encumbered, one of the two. Ah, uh, that's probably plenty. Feel like I'm probably being greedy right now. Um, okay, let's go ahead. We can make our hatchet. We can also make some spears. So they need fiber, flint, and wood. I've only got one little piece of wood though. Um, I'm also gonna make a torch. Uh, let's see. Oh, I also have this. These are just skins. Not everyone will have them when you first load in if you're new to the game. I'm literally just pressing zero on my keyboard to drop the stuff out of my inventory. All right, let's go ahead and bring these down into my hot bar. Alrighty, we also did get another level. Um, so I might actually go stamina this time. You want to be able to run away from all the dinos that are going to try and eat you because it's going to happen. All right, get some wood. I'm kind of curious whereabouts we are as well. Um, all right, now, okay. You can see all the pins on my map. That is because I have played on this map a little while ago with some friends. So what I'm actually going to do, in order to pin your map, you have your map out and then you literally just press P. I'm not sure what it is on console either. I do apologize. I wish I could help you out. Um, like I said, I am on PC. So we have our map open. I'm just going to remove all of these. All right, there we go. Map is all beautiful. Now, I need to throw some of this garbage out. And looking at the map, I actually think, um, I'm actually thinking, oh, look how pretty it's getting. We've got another level. Let's go with some movement so we can run a little bit faster. I'm thinking there is a spot over near the red obelisk that is really quite pretty. Um, so maybe I might try and make my way over there. Uh, or should I make, you know what, I should probably try, no, no Dillo, leave me alone. <laughs> I don't want to play with you right now. I wanted to, I wanted to try and, I was going to make some spears. It's probably not a bad idea, so then I can at least kill things like that Dillo. So let's go ahead, let's see. Can I craft some, uh, can I craft some of these? All right, I can craft 12 of them, or you can select an amount that you want to craft. Um, you know what? I'm just going to craft all 12 of them, just because I'm sure we're going to need them. It's the only thing that we have to defend ourselves right now. All right, so pop that down in my hot bar. Now, when you are crafting items, it's going to make you super slow as well. Like, as you can see, that's me running. Um, that's me full ball sprinting right now. So you kind of don't want to be crafting anything if you're in a dangerous area, or at least try not to. Um, so I'm going to have to wait until we can go across this water. Alrighty, finished crafting. Let's, let's try and make our way across. We did also get another level, so let's go ahead. Um, you know what? I'm going to put more... Uh, you know what? I'm going to go another point into weight. Because obviously weight is going to slow us down as well. If we're super heavy, we're not going to be as fast. All right. Oh, also, I keep forgetting. I See, I'm not sure who's going to be watching these videos. If you're going to be an ARC veteran or if you're going to be someone completely new to the game. If you are new, though, you will need to eat and drink. Obviously, it's a survival crafting game. In order to drink, you just walk up to any water source and press E. It doesn't matter if it's salt water, any water is good water. And then we can also go to the berries that we have in our inventory and we can just hold down E on them as well and just go ahead and eat all of them. Obviously, we're gonna wanna try and get some meat, which you know what, we're gonna actually pick on this guy. 
I'm sorry, little buddy, but I am... Oh, he's got a gold egg. Yes, give me. Give me the golden egg. Um, we are going to have to kill this guy. And he is going to be our Tucker. We are going to... I'm sorry, little buddy, but I need some food. I'm going to need something to cook up. Now, when harvesting animals, you can use either your hatchet or your pick, depending on what you are after. So if you want meat, you are going to want to use your pick. Uh, if you want to use, if you want to get hide, you're going to want to use your hatchet. Now, the reason I remember that, I just have like a little silly thing that I say to myself. I'm like, pick for prime, hatchet for hide. It's the easiest way for me to remember it. So I hope you guys, I <laughs> uh, hope it maybe makes it easier for some of you as well. Now, I don't know if uh, going through here uh, is the best idea. Um, I'm pretty sure we're going to encounter some raptors. I'm not fast enough to outrun them yet. But there is a really pretty spot. Um down over oh i can hear compies dang it who's chomping on me someone's chomping on me already um there is a really pretty spot that i would like to set up base at but i don't know if i'm going to be able to make it around there i'm gonna run i'm gonna see how far i get and if we die or if anything happens i will bring you guys right back Oh my goodness gracious me, we are nearly there. This will teach me for not wanting to just build in the spawn zone. I probably could have just make done with building just a little thatch house right where we spawned. But there is this really pretty waterfall location over here that I wanted to show you guys. So I thought it could be a good spot for us to build at to start off with. And we are really, really close now. I think it is just here somewhere. Let's see. Are you a waterfall hiding in amongst all the trees and the rocks and the things? Yes, it is. Amazing. All right, we managed to make our way here. Oh, my goodness. I did kill a couple of compies on the way to get some hide and things like that as well. We've got more meat. Amazing. All right. This is the pretty spot I was telling you about. I like it here. It actually, there is a creek that runs further up. If you look at the map, there is a bit of a creek that runs further up into like a lake. And I thought it could be a cool spot to start building. Uh, we might move at a later date. I don't really know. So what we're going to want to do is we need to go into our engrams and we're going to need to learn some thatch foundation thatch doors we need a sleeping bag so we've got somewhere to respawn if we do on you know involuntarily die uh we need some ceilings walls doors i'm gonna need a storage chest as well um i'm not too stressed about uh clothing right now i don't think that's gonna be something that i need right this second go ahead and learn the ruse as well we will also get a mortar and pestle, some spark powder, and some narcotics as well. Oh, can I not? I can. All right, I didn't think I had enough points just yet. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's see. For some thatch foundations, we need 6 wood, 20 thatch, and 15 fiber. Oh, and I have another point. So let's maybe put that into movement so we can run away from the raptors and things now down the bottom right oh you guys can't actually see it hang on let me let me move my head for a second so you guys can see down the bottom right there is actually that buff there that um it says enlightened i get a plus 10 percent xp and basically what it was is that hesperonis hesperonis i'm not really too sure how you pronounce it that bird that dropped the golden egg when i ate the egg it gave me a little bit of an XP boost. And I can actually see there is another one down here. Did he drop a golden egg or is that just poop? No, that's just poop. Dang it. I got excited. I thought there was another egg just there. All right, I need thatch, wood, and fiber. Let's let's collect some stuff. Oh my goodness, I am so heavy. Got to collect some stuff so we can go ahead and craft a little, a little shack. I'm not going anything too fancy, just a little... I don't know, just a little two by two will probably make it do for now. Seeing as it is our first day, 
we are actually doing really well. As far as my standards go, I haven't died yet, which is amazing. Um, like I said, I don't, uh, I generally die pretty quickly. I do have a fair few hours in the game. I do know a bit about the game, but I am by no means a pro. I am still learning. Uh, I think I've got maybe 2,000 hours, so I do have a pretty good understanding, but like I said, I am still learning, and I've never played without mods before, so, you know, this, this could be interesting. All right, let's go ahead. Let's pop you down. So I've got, hang on, can I have that, please? Go down there amazing all right let's let's go ahead we're just gonna pop this little guy here can i make some more of them do i have enough stuff all right so that's gonna be enough for the floor that i want right now anyhow um we're gonna need two four six we're gonna need seven walls i can make another four but that's all right that's a start anyhow so give me the wall there we go amazing and we're leveling up nicely too i think um xp is actually five times so i am obviously going to level a little bit quicker than what you would if you were playing on an official server or even just a server that was set with um you know not having the boosted rates so we are going to level up a bit quicker but i'm gonna try and keep you guys with me as we level up um let's see we're probably gonna go wait again i feel like um what do i actually need i need more fiber okay sure thing and now you can't actually uh pick narco berries or fiber or anything like that if you have an item in your hands it'll actually just come up and say that you need to equip fists or torch and use to half resources from this. So basically all you got to do is if it's in your number one slot, you just hit one again, drop it down, and uh, then you're good to go. You can pick up all the things with your hands. All right, so I just need, I think it was only, I don't think it was a lot of fiber for each one, but I will need to double check. Um, all right, yeah, it's only seven fiber per. So I think I need another three of you. And then we need a little doorway. We're gonna need, oh, did I not learn a door? Man, we're gonna need to have a door on that place. I hope we're not in a super bad spot and something runs off this cliff and destroys our base while we are AFK. I mean, that is, it's highly possible. These things happen. They do indeedy. All right, we're just gonna finish this guy off like so. Pop my little door down. Oh, did I not make a door? I learned a door, but I didn't make one. And then we're gonna need four ceilings. Oh, amazing, I've got exactly what I need. I'm also gonna go ahead, I did see we can make a bed too, down here. Uh, you know what, I'm actually gonna get that because with a sleeping bag, if you die, you can only respawn at a sleeping bag once. But if you die, you can respawn at a simple bed multiple times. So that is definitely the better option for us. Man, we are actually leveling up really, really quickly. I may need to tinker with that setting because I don't want to just zoom through and be able to build everything straight away. Um, all right. Now this is just going to literally be a box. I will do something a little bit more fancy at a later date. But right now... We just kind of need to get ourselves a little, like, a little safe place that we can kind of call our own. So, let's go ahead. Can I make a bed? What do I need? I need some more thatch. All right, we've got more, another point as well. I might maybe go another point into weight. Oh, I would be leveling up too quicker because I, I, um, I have that XP boost thing from the egg as well. I completely forgot about that. All right, let's see. Give me a little bit more thatch. Thank you very much. All right, I should hopefully be able to build a, a little... Oh, man, I'm dehydrated. It's all right. I'm not going to die straight away. But let's see. I can make a bed now. No, dang it. I need more thatch. That's all right. I need to go get water anyhow. So let's, uh, let's scoot down here, grab a drink of water, and then... Uh, Get back to our little house. I can grab some thatch while we're right here as well. 
So I didn't quite, super close, didn't quite have enough. I don't want to get encumbered though. Just a couple little, the little tappy taps, a little tap tap. All right, that should be plenty. Hopefully I've got enough there to make a storage chest as well. We shall see how we go though. All right, scoot on up to here. Zoing. All right, let's see. Can I make a bed now, please? Please and thank you. Yes, I can. Amazing. Wow, my water drains so quickly. That is kind of crazy. We're definitely going to need to get something set up so we've got water up here. I can make a water skin, um, but I generally don't. I don't know why. I just uh, I don't know. I just don't normally make one. All right, let's go ahead and make some storage as well so I can drop the items that we're not currently using because otherwise they're just going to keep encumbering us and it's just going to be painful if I'm being completely honest. Can I, can I have that, please? Put that down there. Thank you. We did get another point just now. Um, I'm going to go more movement because you want to be able to run, run super fast because trust me, Trust me, you guys, if you haven't seen this game before or you're a new player, oh my goodness gracious me, everything, everything on the arcs would like to eat you. That's just the way it is. Um, did I learn? I did. I need flint and stone. All right, sure thing. We're going to want to get a campfire happening as well so we can cook our delicious meat that we have there. All right, so... What did I need? I needed flint and stone. I'm going to leave that rock there because I kind of feel like maybe it might protect my little my little thatch base a little bit. Maybe. Kind of. I'll pretend like it's going to do something. <laughs> oh, all right. So I needed some flint. Now, also with this as well, using your pickaxe on rocks is the best way to get flint. If you use your hatchet on the rock, it's going to get you stone and then the same with um, metal as well. There should be, I think there's going to be little river rocks down here. It's another reason why I picked this location. See this guy here? It's a little river rock. And if we use a pick on him, we should hopefully get some metal. There we go. We've got five pieces of metal. It's not a lot, but I tell you what, at the beginning of this game, even five little pieces of metal. Oh my goodness. Amazing. Amazing base location for us. All right. What was I actually doing? I needed... Oh, I was going to make... Was I going to make a mortar and pestle? Oh, I was going to make a fireplace. That's what I was doing. So we actually got something to cook our meat on. Um, give me that guy. Give me that guy. Can I make one now? I can. Awesome. What else do I need? I need some hide and we can make a mortar and pestle as well. Now, this is actually how we are going to make a narcotics in order to be able to tame some creatures. So basically to make narcotics, you need narco berries and you need a spoiled meat. You put them in the mortar and pestle, grind them all up and it will turn it into narcotics for you. So that is definitely a high priority for us. The more narcotics we can get, the better tame and the quicker we can get it all happening. So let's go ahead. I'm going to throw our fireplace in the corner over here. I'm just going to throw my meat in there, a little bit of wood, and then light the fire. And that thing there is going to cook for me. And as it burns, it's also going to make us some charcoal, which you will need charcoal later on in the game to make bullets. Um, I do apologize if I'm kind of just rambling. I guess I'm just trying to explain the game to you guys as best as I possibly can but um yeah it will get better I promise it is obviously super early days now if we throw some of our flint and our stone in here we can actually make spark powder as well now spark powder is used in stimulants which are kind of the opposite of the narcotics they wake creatures back up if you need but they're also used in furnaces and like we could use it in our fireplace and things like that it's basically like a replacement for wood so i'm gonna get some of that crafting as well now do i am i a high enough level to go ahead and learn how to get a forge um 
Mm, no, not yet. Okay, we can't actually get a forge just yet. We can't get a smithy or anything like that. I am, however, going to learn a spyglass. That is going to come in handy. We're also going to go for a club. That's going to make things easier when we try to knock stuff out. Um, bowlers are good. We're going to need a crow, uh, a crow, oh my goodness, a bow even. And we're going to want to learn some stone arrows as well. Currently sitting at level 10, which is amazing. All right, sorry, I'm going to pop all this stuff in here. So I don't really need to be cru cruising around with it. Oh, I can actually, give me the rotten meat and give me those narco berries. I can actually pop them in here. Thank you, thank you very much. And we can make one narcotic. So you can see you need five narco berries and one spoiled meat in order to make narcotics. And that's just gonna craft up. And I'm just gonna leave it in there for now. Um, I think I'm actually, you know what? I think that's probably enough brain overload for one day but i really do hope that you guys enjoyed this first episode i know it was probably a little bit higgledy piggledy and rushed but uh yeah stay tuned and we will go through like i said we're gonna go from the very start to the very end i'm gonna try and pass all the bosses we're gonna get breeding some cool looking dinos and everything like that today was just super basic but uh i hope you join us for our next one thank you all so much for hanging out and i will see you all again soon all right thanks guys bye